Cancer is a tough battle and uh, there are so many losses that come with it. For me, perhaps the biggest loss was that loss of purpose. You know, I um, love my work. I was one of those folks that would wake up early every morning just raving to go, you know, to, to work and start the day. And uh, all of a sudden with cancer, uh, you know, there was no place to go. And I just found that incredibly difficult to deal with. There was a loss of identity. Uh, you know, all of a sudden I saw myself as a cancer patient, I saw myself as a number, um, sometimes as a victim, and uh, it just wasn't a fun place to be at all. I, I remember uh, one time when, uh, you know, through the process I, I lost my hair and I lost my eyebrows and i just woken up from bed and I went uh, to the mirror um, to brushing my teeth and I looked at myself in the mirror and I went, ah! I just screamed so loud because I, I could not recognize the person that was looking right back at me. I, I looked like a, a, a complete and absolute freak. Um, and, I, and I remember just running back to bed and just crying for the rest of the day. Um, so the loss of identity was a really tough one. Then there was the loss of physical um, independence, you know, I've always been a really independent person and, and all of a sudden I needed help with, you know, the littlest things, I needed help with climbing the stairs. Uh, for the longest time I needed uh, help with, with taking a bath, I needed help and I still need help when I'm sitting down to, to, to stand up. The chemo really does do its number and, 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 and it made me very, very weak. Then there was a loss of financial independence, which uh, really had an impact on me. Um, I was used to making good money and spending money. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, I suddenly had to think about uh, every purchase that I was making because suddenly there was no money coming in. And I think the other thing that I found really difficult is there was a loss of self-confidence. You know, I, I found that I was always sort of slumped and um, I just felt, you know, less than and I felt uh, not good enough and uh, it really took a, a beating, you know, my, my, my self-confidence. And, you know, through that time I was also going through a whole bunch of different stages of uh, grief, you know. I went from, you know, being uh, completely in denial. You know, I, I, I refused to accept that I had cancer. I was emotionally numb. Um, then I went through this period of being so angry. You know, I just, I was just so angry and irritable and, and didn't want to be around anybody. Um, then I went through this uh, stage of being quite depressed and wanting to withdraw and feeling really isolated, you know. And, uh, and then it was really interesting. I came to a place of acceptance and my acceptance did not come from writing, you know, long journals or sitting in quiet contemplation. Um, it, it happened really when uh, Carlos came home to clean the vents in the house. Uh, Carlos is a friend of mine and, uh, you know, um, when he was cleaning the vents, I was in my room just sobbing, sobbing my, my little heart out and uh, Carlos came to see if I was okay and for four hours we talked. We talked about God and we talked about faith and we talked about life and we talked about movies and we talked about uh, purpose and we talked about a whole bunch of stuff and to be really honest I still don't remember to today what it is that he said but he said something that just got me to a place where when he left our home I felt such a peace, such a sense of peace, such a sense of acceptance and it was right there in that moment that I just made this decision that I wasn't just going to accept cancer, I was going to embrace it and I was going to have fun with it and I was going to enjoy it as much as it was possible and, and I remember taking this little journal of mine and writing down and making a list of all the things that I wanted to accomplish in life that I never really had time to do. I took that year and I just started to do all of the things that I, I wanted to do. And, um, you know, it was the weirdest thing, but 
What I can say now is that cancer gave my life a whole new beginning.